Bam. Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here. Internet's busiest music nerd. Once again with my girlfriend manning the camera, going through, God, this is six. This is number six. The sixth edition of videos going through my vinyl collection alphabetical order. We started here in the A's and now we're, now we're here. So I mean, we're almost, we're almost halfway through. So we could do this possibly in around 15 videos. We're gonna see. But we're just getting into the E section now. Just talked about all my Bob Dylan records. We are just now breaking into the E's in this alphabet. Um, and the first record that's gonna kick off my E's is, is, is not an amazing record. 12-inch um, single of uh, some electronic music from, I don't even know how to pronounce the name here. Ib Ibizu. Ibzu. Um, but the important thing to note on, on, on this record, um, not only is it, if I remember correctly, I think I've listened through it uh, once, it's, it's an interesting piece of, of house music, but if you're looking for some, some awesome electronic music, I mean, look up r &S Records. I mean, solid record label um, when it comes to house, techno, I mean, that brand of electronic music. And, and a lot of you may know them most recently as, as having put out a lot of James Blake's uh, material. Okay, next, a record I am a bit more familiar with. Um, After Clang! Jeez, Parade. Parades or Parade? It's Parades. I love the cover art on this thing. I'm absolutely in love with this cover art. Um, this band, I actually saw them perform live in Hamden once in Connecticut, and um, it was quite a lovely show. They came dressed up. They, I mean, a lot of people call this post rock. It could be classified as that, but I think it's so much more orchestral and and so much less rocking. You know, it's 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 really kind of like for me a, a poppier side of, of of that style of music. I mean, it's it's really as colorful as the cover art suggests. I mean, this is a nice gatefold, I believe it's just black vinyl, but nice, you know, nice black sleeve, though it is played at 45 RPM. All right, let's keep going. We're moving. We're moving. Here we go. Explosions in the sky. All of a sudden, I miss everyone. I love this picture. I actually bought this album because I was completely in love with the cover um, and actually did not listen to it for a little while. I was just like, hey man, I'm just so into this cover. I mean, I just love the boat coming over this way, this guy stuck stranded here, the flood situation. I just like the colors. Um, it's just an interesting picture to me. Um, and the artwork on on this thing is 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 absolutely gorgeous um, you know you have all these different scenes I'm assuming memories that this person is reflecting on as they're stuck out here in the uh, in the middle of the water um, and uh, I believe yes over here on this picture is where you kind of see the boat that is referenced on the cover kind of coming to pick this person up and uh, his head is down, it sort of looks like, in, in this picture. Um, the bird is, as well, is still in the cage. And um, what's awesome, Dominique, I'm definitely going to need you to, to try to get a shot on this, is on the D side of the record, there's uh, actually an, an amazing etching of, uh, of sort of a, a different version of the, uh, the front cover. Yeah, there we go. It's it's actually like that frame. Can you see that? Can you make that out at all? Yeah. Like this way? Um, up a little bit more. Up a little more? Yeah. Right there? Yeah. Like the, the, the picture of the boat that you see picking this person up in that last picture, this is kind of like that last frame where he's been picked up and the boat is gone and just the boat that he was in is just kind of left there. And that's it. I mean... I mean, it's it's a great post-rock LP, Explosions in the Sky, all of a sudden I miss everyone. I mean, definitely not my favorite post-rock band for for numerous reasons, but, um, you know, uh, beautiful music to me on that record and, uh, you know, just, just even more gorgeous artwork. Um, nothing too 
uh, amazingly deep to say about this record, but you know, definitely something uh, an artist to look up if you're looking for ambient music. Brian Eno, Ambient Three. I mean, obviously, when it comes to his ambient side, I mean, the the world, the the album to get is Ambient One, but you know, Ambient Three. If you can't get one, get three. I mean, there are some interesting moments on this. Definitely not my favorite ambient album, but you know, some interesting moments. All right, continuing. Ooh, The Falls debut LP, Live at the Witch Trials. I mean, you know, you're looking for a raw post-punk LP that's noisy and messy and just gonna blam it out, then this is definitely worth looking up. I mean, you know, if, if, if you like The Fall, or if you're going to like The Fall, this is the LP to start with, because I mean, this is pretty much the blueprint of their style. If this does not turn you on, then, you know, I say maybe turn back. Uh, I'm sure that would probably piss some people off. I mean, you know, there are albums in their discography more beloved than that one, but you know, if you could tell what their style is from the record, you know, which is just really rough and just really in your face and, and not really particularly planned out, but more jammed out, uh, <laughs> you're gonna figure out whether or not it's your cup of tea. All right, these next two, I reviewed this record on the channel, sort of the double LP of that Flaming Lips and Heady Fuens. You know, um, pute green vinyl. My 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 copy is pute green. I have the track list printed out over here. Both vinyl copies. I mean, uh, both records are. Well, this one's more orange. My other one is uh, is pute green colored. But um, you know, it's a nice little uh, uh, double LP set. You know, gave it a listen. Sounds great. I just sort of uh, wish the two covers actually came folded together, but they are separate in their own little kind of sleeves, unfortunately, but, you know, it's still a cool record. Ooh, favorite album of last year, Fleet Foxes, The Helplessness Blues. Well, not The Helplessness Blues, but Helplessness Blues. Um, I love this gatefold. I just love the cover art on this thing. It's so detailed. Um, love the lyrics being printed out in here, right in the center. Classy stuff. Um, you know, nice little simple black. Nothing too uh, amazingly fantastic to say about the covers other than that it's just a classy cover. And I do like the, uh, the labeling that Sub Pop did over here on the, uh, on the inside of the record. They did a nice job with that. Though it's not really like, you know, a, a Columbia record label that definitely has like that old school kind of feel to it. And I believe there is a poster, here it is. A big giant poster, kind of like, you know, pencil drawing version of, of what you see on the, the front cover that comes along with this. And I believe like kind of the thank yous, yeah, from the record, that's nice. Blow up the thank yous, make them real big. Everybody sees their name. Everyone likes being thanked. All right, if you're looking for some classic hardcore punk compilation Discord record style flex your head. Definitely not my favorite collection of punk songs, but I mean, this is pretty much like, you know, if you want to get a snapshot of the DC hardcore scene during its, its heyday, this is... This is where you gotta kind of go, you know, look up Flex Your Head. You will get an idea of what musically things were like that time, you know, in that musical scene. I mean, you have Teen Idols on here, Untouchable, State of Alert, Minor Threat, Government Issue, Red Sea Void, Iron Cross. Um, you know, for the most part, bands that, that, that carry a legacy in that area. Flying Lotus, LA, looking for some crazy interesting mind Fudging beats. I mean look at this album not totally in love with the printing of the art on this cover But I do think this is a stellar album um, Like that picture of him there that looks nice, you know a1 to b4 It's a nice package. It's a nice gatefold. It's a nice couple of LPs um, I'm totally down with it Happy to have this on vinyl. Unfortunately, I don't have Cosmogram on vinyl. Oh, this one's more of an embarrassment. Not really. Foreigner, best of collection. Got this from my aunt. It's got Jukebox Hero on here, hot-blooded. I've been waiting. Not gonna finish that. All right, ooh, 
now we are getting into my Fugazi records. Uh, aside from Bob, oh. Well, looks like we're gonna get into him next time. But I will say that I think besides Dylan, Fugazi is uh, in second place in terms of how many records I own or have owned from a single artist. But we will go through my, what, five Fugazi vinyls right there? We will go through those next time. We're, we went through the E's, now we're in the F's. We're in there, we're, we're almost through the F's in this sixth installment of my vinyl collection. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. I'm glad you guys are, are into this. That's very flattering. Um, be back with more reviews soon, and you're the best. Next vinyl thing coming soon. Love you. Vinyl forever.